All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the OtterBox Defender Pro XT case for my iPhone 13 Pro here. Now they do make this for any of the iPhone 13 models. So if you wanna buy this after watching this video, do follow the link down in the description to OtterBox's website. This case comes in at $69.95, so it's not one of the cheapest cases out there, but you know what you're getting when you are buying an OtterBox case. Now, as far as this case goes, as you can see here, it is a black, just rugged looking case, MagSafe compatibility inside of it. It does have five time uh, the drop testing abilities of military standard. So you are getting some really, really nice drop protection with the drop press, uh, with the drop plus protection with this case. Uh, it does have this antimicrobial protection on it to help with, uh, you know, the bacterial growth and stuff to help inhibit it. It is made with more than 50% recycled plastic as well. So that's a big thing that OtterBox has been pushing lately. Um, on the inside, as you can see here, uh, once again, you do have the MagSafe magnets built in. And then you can see here, like on the edges inside the case, that you do just have some really nice, just grippy, ruggedness looking stuff in there that's going to really help with drop protection. If you do accidentally drop your phone, it will help dissipate the energy away and hopefully prevent a break. So let's go ahead and slap in my Graphite 13 Pro. Now I will say with full disclosure guys, this case is not the easiest case out there to install the phone in. So it is a dual layer case, but it has just this very thin layer right here that you can pop out. But uh, I didn't find it any easier to take it off and install it. What you do is you basically just push it in and just force it in there, basically. I mean, once you get it in there, it's, it's snug. I mean, it's in there. So there it is. And there is what it looks like on the phone. So as far as the outside of the case goes, as you can see here, it does have this texturized like matte finish uh, material, but it is very grippy filling as well. Um, so anti fingerprint, anti smudges. Um, so looks pretty good there. OtterBox branding there, as you can see, you have just that different little texture and look around the camera bump. You do have a more of a high gloss black uh, lens protection there, which is a raised lip around the front and those lenses are going to be protected if you do happen to drop the phone uh, and uh, god forbid you do but if you do uh, this case will definitely protect your phone and your lenses now looking on the sides here it does have this like very grippy material as well on the sides it's a matte black finish as you can see here you do have a raised power button and then where the case connects like i said where it's, since it's a dual layer case uh, you can kind of see just some different patterns here, but you can pull that and pull this case part off if you wanted to, but you can just kind of see the little textures, a little different look there. Uh, you do have this part here and this part here, which reminds me kind of like of the commuter cases, like where it just that has like a little extra grip there. At the bottom, you do have some port protection with your lightning port there, but as you can see, the speakers and mics are nicely uh, recessed in there but if you want to have access to your port you just pull that down boom there it is and just push it back in so it will help with you know getting uh not getting like lint and gunk and stuff inside there as well so definitely a nice little added protection there and kind of the same here on the sides guys so same material same grippy material here um you do have some raised volume up and down buttons as you can see there and then you do have a pretty nice little cut out there where once again, you can kind of see it sloped in there. So the way that they did it here, though, is pretty nice. So it gives it a little bit easier access to that alert slider. But as you can see, it is a nice little cut out there. And then here at the top, once again, nothing, but there is that big chunky bump there for the camera bump lens. So definitely gonna get some protection there with that. On the front of the phone, as you can see, it is nicely, recessed in there so the screen is definitely covered with protection 110 percent so no issues at all i do have a tempered glass on my phone and as you can see uh, the tempered glass is not being interfered with with this case so definitely tempered glass friendly 
and there is kind of how the look is around the new speaker grill. You know, it does have like a little bump there, um, so it's just raised just slightly above that speaker grill there, but uh, yeah, there it is. And as you can see, like I said, there's that two-tone look I was talking about, so it's like this hard plastic and then the rubbery uh, material right there, so that's kind of like where that two-tone, uh, but it is a dual layer protection there for you. Now let's go ahead and do the wobble test here and see how shaky it is. So on the back, as you can see there, it's pretty shaky. So I obviously assume that with that big giant camera bump. And on the front of the phone, there is no shake at all. Uh, well, I lie, just a tiny baby shake right there. Um, but for the most part, it's not shaky at all. So now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test and see how clicky these buttons are. So let's start with the power button first. And volume up and down. Okay, so definitely passes the clicky button test. They're very responsive. So definitely no issues at all there. So now let's see how easy it is to actually get to that alert slider. So I'm just using my index finger here and as you can see there, I'm not really having any issues at all. Um, you do probably need to use some fingernails. I need to actually clip my fingernails, but it is helping me right now with being able to, um, you know, do it. So definitely probably want to use some fingernails because since it is pretty deep in there, uh, you definitely are going to need some fingernails for that one. So next test, let's go ahead and do the MagSafe test. Now with it being a MagSafe case, I have to imagine it will be compatible, but let's find out. And as you can see, MagSafe compatible, no issues at all. So definitely found it very easily. And as far as the kind of how tough it is, it will hold it. So as you can see there, but I can, if I jerk it enough, it will fall off. That sounded really inappropriate. Um, but yeah, but like I said, it definitely will find it and there's no issue at all with that. So it will be compatible with MagSafe accessories. It just really depends on how strong your magnets are on your MagSafe accessory that you have. Um, because I have used some car accessories that just the magnets aren't super strong. Even if I didn't have a case on, it still doesn't really do well. But uh, there are some out there that I think will do just fine. So yeah, so you definitely will be okay with that. Um, so overall guys, this case is very, much a really nice case it's obviously a rugged case it's got a fairly slim design considering how thick um, in theory it should be since it is a rugged defender pro style case um, but uh, at the end of the day though uh, it does have some bulk to it it does put a little thickness to it a little bit uh, and does add some weight to the already heavy 13 pro but all in all you are wanting that for a case like this because if you're a construction worker or someone that's just rough on phones then this case is definitely going to um, fit the bill for you because once again it is five times the military drop testing standards so it is a very rugged case so the last thing i'm going to do just to end the video with is just showing you how i've been taking the case off it is a um, case that is hard to take off i'm not going to lie I first tried to just pull it apart from here and I did not get anywhere with that um, because I was just having a hell of a time um, just removing it from here. So, I mean, you can probably, but I just never really uh, had much success doing it that way. So what I ended up doing guys is literally just forcing it off. Cause once you do that and push it, it literally will pop right out. Um, but I did find it very difficult to do the other corner so as you can see there, but if you just kind of just get under this and then just pull the phone out, then it pops right out. Um, so it's not the easiest case to get off, but I haven't damaged my phone. It hasn't scratched it up or anything like that. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to point that out that I did have a little bit of a difficult time getting it off. But once you play around with it a few times, it becomes second nature. So there you have it guys. So yeah, so there is the Defender Pro uh, XT for the 13 Pro. So hit that like button guys if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.